Dr. Chris Woods is a Duke University infectious disease specialist. His work focuses on diseases that can spread between animals like bonobos and humans. He's here at Congo's Lola Ya Bonobo to monitor the health of these apes. What were you doing today? Well, today we're actually responding to a uh, small outbreak of respiratory infections here uh, at Lola Yabonobo. So when you say respiratory infection, what do you mean? Um, it's when, uh, just as in humans, when we get a cold or a uh, flu, uh, these are viruses that cause uh, infection of the respiratory tract, nose, throat, and eventually lungs and can cause death. In fact, respiratory infections here at Lola are the leading cause of death in the bonobos. So is it the bonobo, is it one bonobo who got sick and then they got the human sick or is it a human who brought the, the, the cold? It can in? actually be either way. We're not uh, sure. I think most situations it's uh, likely that the new viruses are being brought in by the, uh, the humans who are providing care and comfort to the bonobos who are here. And, but we're seeking to understand that better. There's still That's a lot we don't know about what causes disease. We still do not know, yes. And, and by studying diseases that cross from animals to humans, that's, that's one way to figure it out? Well, diseases are occurring at that uh, human-animal interface. So more and more as humans encroach on forests, as air travel increases, as roads increase, humans become more and more in contact with, with animals. Uh, absolutely, and that's the, the increasing frequency with that, that, that interaction is taking place makes the likelihood of a spillover event is a common term used now, or the jumping of a uh, virus or a bacteria from one species to another is more likely to occur. 